Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes, future results are not guaranteed, and finally, any investment decision you make is still your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart. And you can see that we continue to be in our 100 point range between 790 and 1890. Uh, we seem to be pulling back here. Air kissed our 1790 air uh, price level. We'll have to see what's going to happen here. Notice that we do have some big air here in between the 20 and the 50 that may need to uh, tighten up a little bit. But in the end, again, we're still in this range. If you get above it long, if you get below it short, uh, possibly trade the, the range. But for the most part, I'm sitting on the hands now waiting for the market to tell me what it wants to do next. And, and, and don't also forget, even though I'm saying 1790, we also have a little price action here also at uh, 1743 that we have to watch even if it does break here. Of course if it goes to 1743 we'll probably make it all the way down to the 50 moving average. We can see on our market profile that we did pull back here just a little bit and as we scroll back over we said there was a lot of uh, volume in this price range and you can start to see that um, this volume moving up and down on the so there's, there's, there's going to be that support in that 1790 range uh, and we'll see if the uh, buyers can defend it or if we'll pull back uh, even further to the uh, 50 moving average. So a sideways goal means what to the market? Starting off with the euro dollar and we can see that we did get a little move up here. Um, even though we got a move up we can see on our hourly time frame that the dollar really was still in control but they started to converge move towards each other and now just fractionally the, the pound, I'm sorry, the euro is in control. But overall, as we come back here, you can definitely see an oversold move. So that it makes sense for us to get a little retracement back. We showed you yesterday what we're looking at as far as uh, the longer time frames. And we can see our, our up move here. And what we talked about uh, before is that if we continue to move lower, we're going to have to look into this swing high range around 1.3, 1.4 range. Uh, but even so, we can see that we had an up day. Why? Well, we're still well below our long term moving average. We're still in a buy zone. We can see that the euro fractionally took control. They began to converge to each other, which allowed for this move up here. The euro, however, is still trending down and the dollar is still trending up so that still uh, means the dollar may take regain control here which would send the pair lower on the daily and our indicator is not overbought oversold our pound dollar uh, went right on down through our support level also had a pullback day we'll zoom out to the long time frame just to give you a look and you can get a, a little gauge of what we're watching here uh, on the weekly time frames, we're going to be watching uh, somewhere in here 1.53, 1.54 as the next place for the buyers to kind of say that they want to defend the price level. Um, so there is, you notice these are big candles in here. So we could fall, like I said, down here to about 1.54. But we're still well below our long term moving average. We're still in a buy zone. However, here you can see even though they converge, the dollar is still control, and we can still see the pound trending lower. We can still see the dollar trending higher, and we're still in a neutral zone here. So the market is digesting what it saw here over the past couple of days 
as they broke out of the range on the daily for both the euro pound and the the pound. I'm sorry, both the euro dollar and the, the uh, pound dollar. Finally, we'll look at the pound, the dollar franc, and we can see we're we're pausing here at the 200 moving average. That makes sense. Um, nice move up. Each time we've got a pullback, it was a buying opportunity. Here's a perfect example of just because we're over uh, bought doesn't mean we can we have to immediately sell off. Here we're well above our long-term moving average. We're clearly in the sell zone, but the franc just took control, uh, and so that would bring price back down, which we're seeing here on the daily. But the franc uh, starting to trend lower. The dollar still trending higher, but sideways. Here we're seeing a little sideways price action, and our indicator continues to be. Uh, neutral, but we had a couple oversold um, spikes. As we come to our two watch lists, first we have our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands. We watch for a break of the brand, bands and, uh, and preference in the direction of the trend. However, we currently don't have any candidates. Similarly, for our inside bar watch list, we watch for a break of today's range as compared to yesterday, but we also don't have any candidates. So we're going to move right along to our education spotlight, and we've been talking about trading plans, and a trading plan is your roadmap to your successful trading journey. In essence, we, uh, we create our trading plan, we document our trading plan so that we have a trading system that has a higher win-loss ratio when compared to just flipping a, a coin. We need to lower the playing field, level the playing field, increase our odds so that we can maximize our profits when we do have winning trades and then we can cut our losses when we have losing trades. We can't do that unless we document it so that we can find out what exactly our ratios are and we know what trading setups work for us and what ones do not. You know you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financial Literate? We have our same resources, our free five video course on high probability trading. It'll give you insight. A chart is a chart, so it gives you insight, futures, forex, wherever you may be trading, how you can devise your own high probability trade setups. Hopefully, that will give you a gauge as to what we are as far as uh, coaches. And you can see how working with us one on one help you develop that personalized trading plan, that roadmap to being a successful trader. We can help you develop that trader's mindset to take your trading to another level. Cash back for forest trade, you might as well get paid to trade, there are rebates, doesn't change the spread, doesn't change the trading conditions, just purely giving you rebates for your forex trade. And if you're looking for signals, we have those two. Find the provider that matches your trading plan, your trading system. So that again, you're trading within your means, within your capital, have them trade automatically, or you can get the signals of trading yourself. But in the end, it's not about the system or the indicator. It's about the plan. Have you documented? Have you planned? Have you identified your window loss ratio so that you can maximize your profits and cut your losses? Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.